how to change the alternator in your 2006 to 2010 Jeep Commander with the 3.7 liter V6 engine. I am Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative side of the battery since we're dealing with some electrical work. So just use your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to loosen the negative side of the connector. Once you've got it loose, just remove it and push it down to the side and out of the way. The next thing we need to do is remove the belt from the alternator and to get it off, I'm going to use my 15 millimeter socket and extension on the tensioner. I'm going to put it on here and push it clockwise towards the driver's side to loosen the tension and then I'll slide the belt off of the alternator. With the belt off, the next step is to remove the nut from the electrical connector at the top. So first, just push in on these two tabs and lift and remove the cover. Pull it back out of the way. And right here, we can see a 13 millimeter nut that needs to come off. And I'm gonna use my 13 millimeter wrench to loosen it and remove it. Once it's loose, go ahead and remove it by hand. So that's one electrical connector off. There's a second connector behind the alternator right here, but I'm actually gonna wait until I remove the alternator to get to this connector. So the next thing we need to do is remove a 15 millimeter bolt right here, a 15 millimeter bolt right here, and then the 13 millimeter back here. Use a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the two lower bolts. So we're gonna move on to the last 13 millimeter bolt down here. So now I've got the alternator out. Just gonna disconnect the connector from the back. And the old one's out. Install the new alternator by attaching the connector on the back. Install the 15 millimeter bolts at the bottom and the 13 millimeter bolts in the back. Attach the cable on top of the alternator and tighten down the nut. Then snap on the cover. Use your 15 millimeter socket and breaker bar to relieve the tension on the belt and slide it on the alternator. Then attach the battery cable. And this job is done. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.